Last year, I saw an ad. To the haters, the doubters, my seventh grade vice principal. To everyone who's ever told anyone with a dream they can't. And it was f***ing awesome. So I bought the phone. This is terrible advice. I really hate this phone. I've been using it about a year and I still don't know how all of it works. Hear me out. Okay, I exaggerated a little bit. The phone is fine. Here, let me tell you what I like about it. Pretty big screen, and the curve is pretty cool. USB-C, because it's 2019, thank you very much. I feel fully in control of the entire phone, almost too much so. It works with Google, hell yeah. And that goes for the Play Store too. Headphone jack, 10 points for Gryffindor. Uh, I mean, Samsung. Fast and snappy UI to the day, still feels like new. And Nova Launcher is just a personal preference. No apps on my home screen, just gestures. So what went wrong? The fingerprint reader is maybe in the dumbest place in history. In a blind phone grab test, four out of five times my finger smudged the camera. Not cool, Samsung. SMS really sucks. I got Ted, did you get my photo? The camera itself is okay, but then goes full potato inside Instagram. The Play Store feels like the Wild West sometimes. Why are there 20 settings in the quick action drawer? Why not like four? We need to pause. Bixby, what the f And somehow you got your own button? I kid you not, never once did I intentionally push that button. And I tried. If you want to remap it, you have to pay a third party $2.99. $2.99. Unreal. Look, Samsung, I don't hate you. Because, to be honest, you were there for me. When I got lost and stranded, through the happiest moments, no and through the hardest time of my life. Don't 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 you were there. And to be honest, you really made me feel like I was a part of something. See, I've never been a big creator, but I still felt empowered by you to continue creating. And I felt like being a creator was cool. How'd you even do that? So thank you for that. You really empower creatives and that doesn't go unnoticed. It's just that the delivery of this wasn't perfect. And I think you know that. As a creator, I need a camera that works seamlessly on social and doesn't smudge. And I need it to seamlessly work with my other tech so, so I can just go from this to that without 15 steps in the middle. And I really need an interface that doesn't slow me down. So as a creator myself, I need to adapt and move on. And if I'm gonna use an old phone, I need you to understand where things went wrong. The iPhone 7 Plus, AKA the only thing I could find in my drawer. It's got a solid camera all around. Siri is way better than nothing. Solid size screen, a home button that clicks and is very satisfying. And that underrated toggle switch for the sound. The fingerprint reader is very logical. The app store is very nice and clean. The UI, incredibly simple. iMessage. I got a text! FaceTime, actually, I take this one back. AirPods, absolutely best tech of 2018, even though my dog bit mine. I'm not gonna lie, it does have its shortcomings though. The battery life is horrendous after six months of use. No headphone jack because I do occasionally need it. It's pretty old and slow. The lightning port is a super useless plug. Why did they need their own again? iTunes and iCloud. No, no we do not want to buy more iCloud. If I'm honest, I really don't want to go back. I tried really, really hard, but I have to. And if you're about to comment about how petty it is that I'm switching over this, well guess what? It's a first world market, baby, and pettiness wins. But if I'm about to switch to a two and a half year old phone, it better be for an awesome reason. So let's make it awesome.
We don't have any pencils? This should work fine. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. Sorry, Samsung. It's nothing personal, and I'd love for you to prove me wrong. But for now, I'm gonna... I'm gonna stick with this. Oh, I ran out of room! <laughs>